Today on the art of shitbox Miatas, we get back to work on the NC and sanding all that lovely mud I put on a couple of days ago. Hopefully by now all this stuff has had a good time to cure and won't clog the sandpaper. I'm hoping it'll go smoothly and quickly. I'm gonna use an air file for most of it and then finish it off by hand. So let's get to it. Let's, uh, let's do some sanding. It'll be fun. Just, uh, over and over and over again. Okay, let's, uh... All right, while well, the filler dries, I'm gonna take a stab at repairing the bumper. We got a little nubbin up here, and someone obviously drove a trailer hitch into this. So, kind of ridiculous that I still had to pay 200 bucks for this bumper, but that's just how parts for NC3s go, I guess. Uh, this should take care pretty easily. Gonna torch it up a bit with my trusty old flamethrower over there. We're gonna warm this up and pop it around, and then I will use a welder, plastic welder from the back and from the front to get this straightened out and sealed up. All right, let's try and repair this big old Dent. I've already popped some of it out, I reheated it, ground it up a bit. Doesn't look the best yet, so what I'm gonna do here is get some of these suckers out. Some of my body working tools, which will work pretty well for this. In all honesty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna warm this up again, and we're gonna squeeze it together with these. Hopefully it, it works well. <laughs> Take this, warm this sucker up. What I'll do is reinforce the back of this. That's just enough too, but it's a pain in the ass to put these on, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna apply a ton of filler rod everywhere first, where I feel it's needed and smooth it out, and then I will reinforce it with this, probably heat the shit out of it, press it in as well as I can. Looks like this thing's warmed up. Bit of plastic okay.
All right, honestly, that's pretty piece for what I need. I'll be able to take some sanding paper to this and even it out, but it's a lot more level than it was. All right, so I've covered the bumper in some fiberglass. Uh, starting to regret the decision of buying a $200 bumper on eBay and not checking the prices of the dealer first. 343 is the list price, so I'm guessing sub 300 bucks would have been my cost on that one. Uh, shit move. Might still buy one. Don't know. Uh, car is ready for 120 grit sanding. Hood is about as good as I need it to be just for paint experiments. The rest is all fairly flat and good to go. We're gonna work all this down with 180 grit now and then whatever needs to be glazed will get glazed afterwards as well. And glaze is gonna do things like fill in little pinholes like these. Uh, just won't get filled in with primer at all. Stuff like this right here. Yeah, just coming along. And then after that, I'm just gonna work her down with 320 grit and hopefully get her to prime pretty soon. Well, the bumper turned out a little better than I thought it would actually at first there, so it's doing all right. It looks pretty level-esque here and there. Fiberglass is holding well. We got a little bit here, but yeah, I think she's gonna be all right. Honestly, I'm pretty over it for today, so I'm just gonna wrap up.